people deluded i'm back again thank you very much for tuning back in each and every time good morning to those of you in the uk good morning good afternoon good evening and good night depending on who you are and wherever you are now the international break has been boring but you know under 18s football is still going on and much like every week our under 18s again i'm not bold yet hopefully i never become bold but just as a fan they're gonna make me bold people because it, it's a thrilling encounter as you lot know Arsenal's under-18s defeated Reading 4-3, Reading 3, um, Arsenal 4, and they came from behind. And it was a thrilling game. It was a game full of emotions. It's a crazy game. And, you know, it's a game much like all of the time in which I'm saying to you lot, I say it all the time, sorry, in that there's lessons for these under-18s to learn. Game management, we were two down within the first five, six minutes, you know. Forgive me if I'm wrong, I'm sure we conceded a goal on the stroke of half-time. Do you get it? Things like this, obviously, if you're going to make it at Arsenal or go elsewhere in the professional game, game management, not making mistakes, playing well for the whole 90 is something these boys are going to have to learn. Take no, nothing away from that, you know, considering, obviously, because of injuries, people being called up for 23s, international duty. We can't call upon a lot of players, you know. I think, I think personally, I don't even think we should be able to use Amari Hutchinson. How he hasn't been called up into the England squad in any capacity, I don't know. Um, and I think considering he's been having a great year for under-18s, just like for against Redding, I think he's done quite well. But yeah, no Brook, no Paterno, not that we could use him because he's, you know, Charlie's doing his thing for the 23s. A bunch of players that can't be called upon. You can't even use a young kid or Taylor Hart. So it is what it is. So players that, you know, a couple of our schoolboys soon to be under 18s next year, current under 16s got opportunities, you know, um, Walters, Ibrahim played, um, Oh, what was that guy who came on? The winger, I forgot his name, but we'll, I've, I've got it on my notes. I don't know too much about him. Small little winger. He's he's bit, he's raw with it, but he was decent. Obviously, a couple of, uh, couple of existing first team, first year scholars, sorry, got some opportunities. You know, Jeff Cott, Charles, you know, a couple people, you know, Jack came off the bench. If, forgive me if I'm wrong or did he start? I can't remember. But either way, people were getting game time that have been starved of it, really. And like I said, or, or better yet, I haven't said, as you lot know, when you're playing Reading, you know, they've got a great academy at all levels. Players, are, you know, they got a U at first team going off Amari Richards, going off to Bayern Munich. Elise will get a move, in my opinion, to a Premier League club. They've got a 22-year-old centre-half that's doing all right for them. Is it Mc... Mc McTyre or something, I don't even know his name, but Reading have a very good academy and they've been having a good academy. So we know we're going to need to be at our best to take three points away from them. As I said, first five, first minute people we conceded, you know, they've basically scored from the kickoff really and truly. It's a, the only way I can describe it is a culmination of errors in it. It shouldn't happen. You know, people are slicing it. It's one of those where it was a sequence in play. You could see it, it needed to be stopped. Either way, it didn't they've scored and they've got a quick fire double and the best way I could describe that opening five or so minutes when they're winning two new at a point if I can remember correctly would be you know it's like being in a boxing match with Mike Tyson and getting a punch in your face really we've been you know it's shell-shocked really and truly we're going to need to get we're going to need to 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 wake up and things we are both teams are playing good football you know they're number 10 they're number three uh, in particular are really catching my eye they're number oh, I believe it was number six as well in midfield it could be number four I think it was number four um you know you'll get scouting reports but again I'm not too sure of their names but they were impressive they were trying just as much as we were you could see there was goals in this team because really both teams look like they could be cut open defensively so I did think we could score did I think we could we could turn the game around I don't I don't know it's down to these boys Amari Hutchinson's on his on his iron robin sort of stuff people and obviously he gives us a bit of you know in the 14th minute he pulls one back from us because it's a good ball for Medelo who's in the last few weeks really putting in performances now I believe he's given Amari the ball Amari's cutting off that right hand side and put it home you know it's an iron robin s sort of finish really and he's having joy on that right wing and had joy all game um so, yeah, we're pushing, we're pushing, we're pushing, we're doing all right. We're having half chances, that, but there's a lot of smoke. There's no fire is the best way I would describe how we're going on. You know, Amari Hutchison had a free kick and, you know, I don't know whether he went for goal or he tried to cross it, but he had me screaming. I thought, pause, I thought he, he, he would pull it in. You know, there was a number of dangerous balls by that individual into the box. And like I said, you know, there's 10 other players, you know, I think he should be in the England squad. 
it, before I forget as well, out of the st the schoolboys that got opportunities, they all did well. But I really was impressed with Bradley Ibrahim. Again, I'm still learning a lot about him, but I like how he kept it simple. He, not that anyone looked out of place, but he kept it simple. His positioning was good. He didn't look out of place. If I wouldn't know that you're a schoolboy playing in under 18s football if I didn't know what I knew in it. So it was a good look, and all of them did all right. You know, Waters at right back did all right. I think Josh Robertson, our, um, centre half, did did good as well. You know, a couple people come off the bench. You know, I, I, again, I don't know too much about these under 16s going to be 18s, and I'm keen to learn a lot more. But I think they all coped well with the exposure that they got. People, um, Jeff Cott, who I've said for a while was playing well. And he he looks like an outlet on 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 the on the left hand side, but we need to get back into the game, people, really, really and truly. And we did, you know, it's a fantastic counter attacking move from all of us, and it's a wonderful finish from Adelo to match, and he gets a goal to match his assist. Or if he didn't get an assist, he definitely play, played a central part in Amari's goal. Either way, people, it is what it is. We're now back in the game, but again, game management going into half time, you need to, you know, give your manager something to work with, and you can imagine it was one of those games the manager had to tear up his half-time team talk several times and like you saw on the stroke of half-time more or less we've conceded a third really you know it's headed home from a set-piece scenario we could have marked better we didn't have to give away that free kick um, again, it looked like communication from the goalie and everyone else could have been better. And these are the lessons these 18s have to learn. Sticklin, I believe his name is for Red Dinnies, put, put poked it home and it's 3-2 to them. Now, obviously, the best goal of the game, you know, Mari's was a goal, but, you know, Jeff Cott's deserved, for me, Jeff Cott deserves his goal. He's been working hard at left back, hasn't had too many opportunities. And he's for me, he's taking them when he's getting some. And it's an absolute rocket. He, he's been trying that for a couple of weeks. It's a, it's an absolute rocket, people, of a goal. He's, he's bust the net. He's really bust the net. I really think he bust the net. It's a fantastic strike. And it was 3-3 free, free at that moment in the second half. And there's energy. We've got the wind in ourselves. Like I said, the young G's have come off the bench and they're doing all right. And Amari's still on and he's prodding, prodding and prodding, having the joy of, 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 of on that right hand side. Um, and, you know, he wins a penalty, beats his man. His man brings him down. It's a penalty. Obviously, we do what we need to do, people, if I can remember correctly. We do exactly what we need to do. We get back in the game um, and we win 4-3. And it was on a neutral point of view. I think both teams good, gave as good as they got. Both teams can improve a lot defensively. Like for us, I was kind of shocked that we didn't concede more in the second half in that, you know, we were kind of, you know, our goalie, Ovi in particular, I think he was spilling a couple of efforts unnecessarily. He's normally more tidier than that. There was a couple half chances. There was obviously half chances for both teams where they could have got something more out of the game. Um, like I said, I think we was a bit clumsy in some aspects, but all in all, we did what we could considering there's, you know, there's injuries, international call-ups, people doing things for the 23. So it's not a, the strongest under 18s team we can we, we can rely upon. And I think they all coped well and they did their thing. And when you look at the young G's people in, in Waters, I think Waters at right back did all right. You know, he's a guy I think we signed from United or something like that. He was in the paper. Josh Robertson, again, don't know too much about him. I think he did all right in the game at centre-half. Out of all the schoolboys, I think Bradley Ibrahim impressed me the most because he kept it simple and, and stuff like that. Um, um, that's his name as well. Omario Kozea Dubri, again, have not seen too much of that player beyond what I've just seen against Reading. But I think he was fairly positive. Obviously, you can see a lot of elements in his game that needs to improve if he's going to make it at Arsenal or play under 18s consistently. Sometimes he's running into blind alleys and stuff. He's a bit scrappy, he needs to polish up a bit. But I like him. He's positive. He wants to take on his man. I think there's something there. Again, you know me, I'm not one to talk about potential and things, but I like what I saw from him off the bench. Obviously, Tino was unfortunate not to get off the bench as well, but it is what it is, man. We had a couple other schoolboys on the bench. A couple of them got opportunities. You know, a couple, when you look at Charles um, Sangu Jr., um, you know, you look at him, you look at Jack Francis, um, you look at, pretend, you look at um, potentially even um, Henry Jeffcott. These guys potentially haven't always got... A, um, as much minutes as they would have liked at this level. But I think they've taken their chances and it's a valuable three points, people, moving into... I can check the next game for, for you guys right now, actually. Um, after this, we've got Southampton away, which is another tough clash, people. And at this moment in time, if I check the table, again... You know, Southampton are a good are a good team, people, because we're seventh. Southampton are last, but they're a better team than that suggests, people. So hopefully we've got a full strength team to select from them times there. But in relation to this, as I said, Arsenal four, red in three, red in three, Arsenal four. Um, yeah, man, I'm sure the highlights are all out there and things. Sorry for the late 
uploading things. I know this happened on the weekend, but I've been quite busy and I've actually just wasn't wasn't just didn't want to do videos. But either way, we're here now, innit? Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not gonna do any of that, thank you for watching. On that note, note people deluded. I'm out.